Hello everybody. Welcome to our prayer devotional through the book of Judges. It's the 11th of January and we are in Judges chapter 8 today. I'm going to encourage you to read this whole chapter and ask God to speak to you uh, through his word. I'd like to take us to verse 27 of chapter 8. Gideon made the gold into an ephod, which he placed in Oprah, his town. What he had done is that because of this mighty victory they had won, he had asked the people, do you mind giving us some of your plunder, put the gold out onto the floor, and uh, we will make it into a commemorative uh, thing to remember our battle. But the very next verse is, all Israel prostituted themselves by worshipping it there. And it became a snare to Gideon and his family. Isn't that terrifying? God gives them this incredible battle. He has this idea to make something, to thank God, to, to remember God's victory. And yet that very thing is what the people bow down and worship. And it becomes a snare to the people, to Gideon and to his family. Now, what do we learn from that? Well, sometimes our most vulnerable moments are at our points of success. I remember Ray Oliver, who planted this church nearly 50 years ago, when he handed the reins over to Sue and I, he said, I'm going to pray for you, Grant. I'm going to pray for you all the time, but I'm going to pray for you most when you're doing well. Uh, generally speaking, when we're struggling, we're on our knees and praying ourselves. But when you're doing well, your success can become your snare. I can remember a well-known cricket coach. He coached me back in the days. Uh, he had this counterintuitive way of getting people out. He would say, when uh, you were given the, the cricket ball, when a good batsman comes into bat, know what he's good at. Let's say he's good at a cover drive. If he's good at that shot, give it to him early on. Give a ball right there so he will play the shot that he thinks he's very good at, but he's new to the crease. He isn't warmed up. He's not ready to play that shot, but he's lulled into a sense of false security because it's his good thing. It's where he succeeds mostly. And so he would basically say, when a guy comes into bat and you know he's good at a particular shot, let him play that shot because it's his success. It's his, it's his, it's his ability it's his skill that is not ready to be used that will undo him. Our success can be our undoing. And so it's a terrifying story, this of, of Gideon um, uh, trying to do good, but, but actually uh, taking his eyes off the Lord and the good things that God has given him become a snare to him. I'm going to encourage us to pray today. And, and this is going to be a bit of a personal prayer. Ask God to show you all the beautiful things he's given you, all the strengths that he's given you. And if any of those things become more important than God, if any of those things become uh, something you're very proud of, uh, they're in danger of ensnaring you. And so it, what we to do with those things is to present them to the Lord rather than present ourselves before them. Uh, so, so I'm going to lead us in a, a prayer and uh, much of the praying today, though, I believe along this line uh, needs to be a personal and reflective. So let's pray. Father, I pray for every person here today who's uh, examining their lives. And we thank you for the good things that you've given us for our families and for our uh, jobs and for our church and for our gifts and for our blessings and for the material things around us and for our health and for our skills. We thank you for those, Lord, and we continually leave them at your feet. We continually ask you to, um, to, to be glorified in our use of them. I pray that you would show us when what you've given us has become to ensnare us, whether it's a house or a project or a job. Uh, deliver us, Lord, from uh, bowing down to worship the things that you have blessed us with. In Jesus' name, amen.